Well, the USS Fairfax County was, was an LST, and the LST stands for Landing Ship for Tanks. Uh, the, the original LSTs were actually um, designed during World War II, but then, then they were redesigned in the late 60s. The Fairfax County was one of 20 LSTs um, of, the, of the new design. And um, back then, all the LSTs were named after U United States counties that had a county seat with the same name. It was considered an amphibious assault ship. And what that means is that we were designed to, to carry Marines and other amphibious assault equipment, tanks, jeeps, trucks, um, other equipment, and we would go right up to the beach and we would uh, in fact, open the doors, so to speak. It was, we had a big uh, ramp that, but that the, the tanks and the jeeps would go up, up the ramp out of the ship and then down onto the beach. Now, it did have a landing uh, pad on, on, on the back, but that was for the helicopters. And it could carry or hold almost any, any size helicopter, even those huge ones. Well, we didn't have a helicopter that actually stayed on the ship, but a helicopter would be leaving, say, a local um, aircraft carrier or, or some other place, and, and it would drop, drop off supplies, it would drop off mail, say, once a week. If somebody got sick, a, hel a helicopter would come to pick them up. And uh, we, we had about 400 Marines, and we had about 225 sailors aboard. During my time on the, on the Fairfax County, I was, a, I was an engineman. We went through the Panama Canal a couple times. We crossed the Atlantic Ocean a lot. Uh, one time, one of my first uh, cruises that we went, went across the ocean, we, we actually went north of the Arctic Circle. We spent a lot of time in, in the Caribbean. We actually went to Cuba, uh, spent, spent some time in Guantanamo Bay. The life aboard ship, especially when you're out at sea, it's 24 hours a day. I'd have to stay and watch from four in the morning to eight in the morning. And then I, my normal day job from eight in the morning to four in the afternoon, and then go back on duty to watch from four in the afternoon to eight at night. So it's like a 16 hour day. It was commissioned in October of 1971. The ship was decommissioned in, in August of 94, and it was actually sold to the Australian Navy. And the, the U.S. sailors uh, took it down to the, to the Australian Navy and turned it over in like September of 1994. I think the bell was more of a ceremonial thing that uh, whenever the captain would come aboard or when the captain would leave, they would ring the bell, just as a ceremonial thing. And then when the ship was decommissioned, the bell was brought back up here to the Fairfax County Government Center. And, and uh, that's where it is today.